Welcome back, YouTube. Guess what? Hey, hey, what's going on? This is Sunshine. And E. All right, all right. What's going on? What's going we on? got a special guest here okay. today. Right, right, right. Is our son, our youngest son. Right, right. We're going to most good looking. <laughs> We just do a little something. We said we're gonna do some 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 special things coming up. We're gonna do some new things, and this is one of them, one of many. But um, well, just go ahead. We we'll go ahead and let him introduce yourself. Tell a little bit about what he's got going on and and what we're gonna to do today. You know what I'm saying? I'm the like I said, I'm the man of many talents, man, many names. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Actor, YouTuber, we got Austin Taylor Moore. Writer, director, we got Austin Moore. Musician. We got JT Kip. That's with two Ds. And, um. Oh, and then, uh, Gaming. We got Dad Kid Gamer. Also with two Ds. But, yeah. So, this song we got. I already heard this song, <coughs> you know, multiple times. Probably thousand. But, um. I don't know how many songs y'all ever heard by Machine Gun Kelly. I don't think we've well, done we, any. We've done we? a couple. We've <laughs> done, actually, we've done one where it was just him, and it was a, a slow song. I don't know if you remember that one. Which one uh, was that? Yeah, we did it a while back. Then we did the one with Machine Gun Kelly and Eminem. So we have oh, done. Oh, yeah, that's, done couple, okay, that's what it is. Okay, so okay, I've got okay, a okay. For, for him. I mean, I know a little bit about his history. I know he used to do some things a while back, uh... With, uh, I think, Waka Flocka, didn't do some stuff for Waka? Yeah, that's what, yeah. Uh, Wild Boy. Right, Wild Boy, yeah, okay, yeah, so, yeah. so, so uh, this is something a little different we haven't done, we haven't done this particular one. Now, what's the name of this, this song? That we're gonna this song doing? is called The Return. A Return, okay. And it now. says it's with the lyrics, so. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're not going to really, we'll get into the reaction afterwards. Maybe he, I guess he got a little bit more insight on this uh, than we so. do, but uh, we'll, we'll check it out, see what's Anything going on. Anything special about this that you want, the reason why you wanted us to listen to this one? Or? So, um... They wanted me, you know, to do a do a reaction with them. And at first, the the the, the name that was coming up was NF, because NF, that's my guy. Recently, like, yes, yes. NF, right. Actually, I should have came with y'all with some Jaden Smith too. Mm -hmm. But um, recently, Jaden Smith and and NF, I've been messing with their music a lot. But um, like I noticed on their channel, they didn't really have much, you know, Machine Gun Kelly, and um, specifically with this song. Back in ninth grade, this was 20, 20, uh, end of 2012, beginning of 2013, was like, um, like, probably one of the worst six months of my life. And this song was like, constantly on repeat, getting me through it. And this is when, this is the song that really got me into Machine Gun Kelly. One thing that I like about him is what I try to do with my music as well, is if you just pull out any person... And play his whole, his whole discography. You'll be like, okay, I like those songs. I like this song because every song is different. It's not just like, not even just different topics. It's different genres, different types of rap. And then right now he just dropped it, an album, which is a punk rock album. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Oh okay. Well, that's cool because somebody think uh, Kid Rock kind of did a little thing where he did his, you know kind of rapping on, on did a little uh, rock. And he actually, I think he did a country song too, uh, Kid Rock. So I mean, I, yeah, it's cool. I, that, that shows their versatility. That's good. But uh, let's before we get started, y'all, y'all go ahead and hit that like. Uh, you know, go ahead and hit that like. Get that in right quick, and make sure you like say and you subscribe and hit that notification bell. But we're gonna get into this, and we're gonna get a little bit more deeper into this after we check it out. So this is me, Machine Gun Kelly, the Return. Yeah, also, um, you want to hit that share button right. as well. So, But we're going to hit and jump right into this and see what uh, Mr. Austin, ATM, talking about. Mm -hmm. So, you ready? Yeah, let's, All right. let's hit it. Let's and they say they know me. Fuck out of here. Only God knows what I've been through, man. So if you want to talk, get your facts straight first. And if you really want to know, 
Let me ask you something. Have you ever walked in the shoes of a giant or had to fill the position of a boss before you were even the client? It's no wonder growing up under the roof of a tyrant that I would be the poster boy for defiance. Now I'm the voice of the silence. Fuck being quiet. I've seen 20 years worth of violence. I'm tired. It's a burden for me to open my eyelids. Not an undercover cop, but it's safe to say that I'm wired. I can't even get a grip on my life of pliers. I'm fucked up in that head. Close my eyes because I see demons round my bed. So depressed, open I'm up, hoping I'm dead. Thought the fame would make it better. But it only fucked me over Never used to touch a bottle Now I'm hardly ever sober People wanna be my friend But where the fuck were y'all when I was 10? 11 and 12 getting bullied and beat up in the gym I couldn't never get a girl Now all of a sudden I'm the man Students try to get back cool with me again Fuck them all Because guess where they gon' be when my record stop playing Gone with the wind off in the record shop Saying the kills fell off I knew it would happen Stop hating cause a month ago You was all over my jock Saying that I'm that motherfucker but now I'm whack, motherfucker Opinions change, but you cannot change facts, motherfucker If you want bullet points, then call me a get, motherfucker I'll lay my whole life out like a mat, motherfucker Man, I've experienced some things that would stop you from meeting My schizophrenic cousin tried to end my life while I'm sleeping My brummy uncle wanna call, now that he sees me succeeding My mama left me for a teacher, lost my dad to the preaching Half my friends are buried six feet, all the rest in the precinct Literally watched my grandmother die from diabetes I guess my prayers were answered when my aunt got cancer and beat it. Now I wanna get her out of job. Give her the garden of Eden. I did a lot of bad shit. God got even, but for the price I had to pay, I wish I'd stop breathing. My girl sat in the bathtub, eight hours bleeding. Hearing the doctor tell us our child's heart stopped beating. Fuck a million. I wouldn't take a dollar for a life, but I will do what's in my heart and trade this dollar for a mic. I wrote the song in hopes that it could help someone get through the night with no intentions of getting paid. I'm just doing what is right. I do it for the fans. Know the real fans who stuck with me through the storm, cause they understand that there's a genuine pain behind the words I'm saying. And they embrace me, so I thank y'all for staying Ain't it crazy that passion is my Achilles heel Either that or keeping it way too real But they don't know how it feels To feed off the energy of a crowd Step on stage and they get loud And dad, I'ma make you proud I know we don't speak right now But I think turning new leaves what we need right now I love you, and you may not see right now But I'm begging for forgiveness I'm on my knees right now You saw your son as a dropout Stuck around when I ran Saw your son as a feather Now see your son as a man See your son be a father To a beautiful child Or just see your son, dad See me smile Who would have thought What started at the bottom Would someday grow From three people in the crowd Unpaid shows Six people in the room One meal a day Another opening act When no one knows my name Saw the demos that I passed out Laying on the ground Saw the rappers I befriended Copying my style Saw opportunities pass While these fakes got rich Now I can't stop speeding Like my brakes ain't shit For six months I went through hell and back Right at the height of my success All of a sudden doctors said I couldn't rap I had a pile up on my vocal cords Left with a choice Stop now or possibly lose my voice But I woke up every morning and recorded Till my throat swole shut Talk blood after every show because it hurt that much I went weeks without even saying the word to myself No help insurance so got the bills piled on the shelf But for my daughter and my fam And every single fan I pushed through it Now I'm back for y'all again As for my competition it's the beginning of the end But right now this is my return, amen, Kel. And they say they know me. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna let y'all get kickstarted. I got a little something uh, I want to say, but I'm gonna let y'all uh, get in. He's it. quite deep with um mm -hmm. with his lyrics there. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. it does kind of you know, Eminem and have all that <laughs> kind of his 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 thoughts process of uh, of how he views mm -hmm. people. I mean, so is this anything a story of his real life or any part of it that you know of? Or I mean, like everything. Uh, Everything that he said in the song was like things that he went through, like when he was like, uh, like he had a problem with his uh, vocal cords, like mm -hmm. around the time when like he was, I think it was right before he got signed. Mm -hmm. uh, 
it was like something with his vocal cords. Plus, I think it was like strep throat with it or something mm. like that. Oh wow! And so like it was like right when he was like almost at that point or just getting to that point where his his like he had problems with his vocal cords. Wow. Okay. So did he did he go to prison at all? Because he mentioned something about prison. I don't know if he was that was just the lyrics because he was saying his father look at you know wanted him to look at him a certain way, but it wasn't. I, th I think that one, uh, that line was just more of like, this is what you viewed me as. Oh, okay, you know? gotcha. Okay. Um, oh, he, he, did, he did go to jail, but this is like after, after this. I'm pretty sure okay. it was after this or it was before it. It was around this time, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't anything like, oh, I, I shot this person or I stole. Right, 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 right. It was, right, right. It yeah. was uh. The one that I could think of, I think there was other times, but the one that I'm thinking of is, um, he went to a mall and like so like everyone was there like, oh, uh, huh. I guess they said it was like a, a riot or something. I don't know what oh, it was, but okay. he got arrested in like the food wow. court or something like that. Oh wow, okay. Well, I mean, it's cool. I, 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 I one thing I like to speak of musically. Um, I always like when people do something a little different. And what he did, it was no hooks, no 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 chorus on it. I like that. It kind of told mm -hmm. a story. But I like the fact, even once the music came in, you kind of got the feel of where this is kind of going. You can get the feel and it got you in. So, so I like that. Um, very rarely do you hear that. I remember I, there was a guy, in, uh rapper out of South Carolina, or uh, yeah, South Carolina, a guy named The Truth. Actually, he has on a uh, channel and everything. But uh, he did that one time. And I, I, I like that. He just went right through the whole rap, no chorus, just, uh, you know, kind of, fed that story to everybody so that's uh that's a, that's a, i like the fact that it was some uh it wasn't the norm but that the story that he tells is simply i mean i think he everybody can relate to something in there everybody can relate that you know uh, something in, that he said that they that you know in someone's life or somebody in their life is going through that and that's you know people just have this imagination that because you're a rapper or you're a star, you don't go through some of the same things everybody else do. You got, and sometimes it may be even worse. So I mean, that, I like that. It's an emotional song, and I can see that uh, it can help people get through it because you feel, hey, I'm not by myself, I'm not alone. So that's that's cool. I really dig that. I like that. How did how did you feel? Did you want to say something? Uh, the 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 lyric that really really got me to pay attention was like it was towards the beginning, and he was like, uh, uh, people want to be my friend. But where, where were y'all when I was 10, 11, and 12 getting bullied and beat up in the gym? Mm, yeah, right, right. And so then after that, I was just like, right, focus right. on every single bar. Right, right. Well, that answered my next question. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. how'd you feel that this is kind of related to you? How did you relate to the song? Yeah, so, yeah, you answered my question there. So, right. wow, this, I, I kind of like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to check that out again. I like that. That was good. I like that. Does he have a video with this or? Nah, it's just uh, like he has these little uh, Kelly visions. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like vlogs. Um, and listen, Machine Gun Kelly, if you're watching, bring those back. Mm -hmm. you, you be going a wall with those for a good minute. But um, <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, it was around the time he got signed. It's been years, so mm -hmm. uh, you don't blame me. Um, How long has he been out? Estimated, I don't know. I mean, he's been. As far as I can remember, like, I think er the earliest stuff that I could find was 2006. And mm -hmm. then, like, the stuff that was, like, bigger was, like, 2009. Mm -hmm. And then he got, uh, he started really getting recognition, like, between, like, 20, 2010 to 2012, 2013. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna be like I said, we're doing some new stuff. So this is one of those new things we're doing, bringing in guests um, and having them, you know, either react or just sometimes maybe we may sit down later and just kind of go over your your career with things you're trying to do and uh, and actually. Uh, yeah, is there anything in particular that you want to yeah, kind of bring out or that you're doing? Did you say or? you got several YouTube channels, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yes. you've been doing this a while, right? Yeah. Have you? Uh -huh. I've been. My main channel is I've been doing that since twenty fifteen. Okay. Uh gaming twenty sixteen. And then music I've been doing more than half my life. Uh and then films was kinda like on and off mm -hmm. like when I was little, but then like 
I really got into acting, like, in theater. The, like, the year after I heard, I heard, heard the song mm-hmm. is when I really got into theater. And then that's what became, like, I didn't have to listen to this song that much because I had theater. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then I really got into films when I finally was able to get a camera, like mm-hmm. a decent camera. Mm-hmm. So you did, I, you just uh, mentioned, you did some films. You wrote your own stuff and... Produced it and yeah, uh, I actually did a a video on the way here, and it was like talking about it was called um, Austin Taylor Moore. You know, check it on YouTube. But uh, it's called Unpopular Opinion: Making Money Is Easy. And in that point, I was like, I got I I myself not like normal, so it's just like I work these jobs to make money, mm-hmm. and then I still have whether if we're just talking about one one career music i still gotta i still gotta have to beat write the song record the song myself mix the song myself shoot the video myself mm-hmm. edit the video myself wow and that's so, a lot so that's why i do i do that with every single one of my careers filming i gotta i gotta write i gotta get the cast i gotta be yeah. part of the cast because that's one one less person i gotta depend on um, I gotta direct it. I gotta I gotta film it myself while also being in the cast. Now you and do that got, because that's that's what you have to do at this time. That's not ultimately want to want to, do you did you ultimately want to get to the point where you put the people in those positions or you like just do it at this point because that's that's the only way you can kind of get from way A to B. You know, like if I had people in those positions, mm-hmm. the stuff that I'll be doing is I'll be acting, but in it won't really be like my own projects mm-hmm. unless it's like a role that I really want to do. Right. Or I'm for sure. I'm for sure. I'm I'm handing editing off to anyone. Okay. I'm handing. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm, tough. Ha- I'm handing mixing off to anyone. Uh, yeah, that, that's a quiet taste there, man. That, that it takes a lot of uh, yeah to do that. Wow. Oh well, it sounds like you've done a lot. You want to um, bring any of that, all of that up, or you want to just kind of we do a separate interview on that? Or hey, someone's number just got leaked. I don't know who that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, yeah, we're gonna bring. Like I said, this we we was here to react on a video that uh, you said. Hey, y'all need to check this out and react to this video. And this was actually a great video. Love the yeah, video. Yeah. And uh, so, but probably down the line, we're gonna probably bring him back. And um, like I said. Uh, Probably doing a little more fuller interview on and going depth and and some of the things he did. Maybe to some people that uh, you can get involved in that project and some of the projects you're doing. So that may be something we can do. We can do later down the line. That was just cool. But um, I mean, any more final thoughts or anything that you want to you know tell people? I mean, whether it's the video or just overall. Well, you said you said you like how this was uh, different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying with no hook. Right. There's times when like I have on my notes make a song like the return. Where I just like rap straight That's to cool. it. Yeah, same, I like that. Wow. I like that. Nice. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. two that come to mind is Everyday We Learn and uh, Waterfall. Oh, okay. Mm. This is your own personal music. Yeah. Too. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I might want to check those out. Yeah. Right. Well, right. I, I think that's it for, I mean, you know, so, you know, thanks for listening to um, us um, and this interview. But did you want to say anything? Uh, well, I think I mean I think I kind of summed it up. I mean, um, great video, great lyrics, great theme, great music. I mean, it's a good good song. I like that song. So, you know, um, we're gonna close this thing out. But please, please, y'all share this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I do believe that's it. Yeah, I believe that's it. Thanks for listening to Sunshine, Sunshine and Ink. E.